Bryant District Attorney Luis Sainz calls this a big and important win for law enforcement. Most importantly, he says it sends a strong message that criminals that cross the line and mess with innocent bystanders will be held accountable. All I'll say is that Mr. Parra has taken the attitude that he has put it all in God's hands and that whatever is happening today and whatever happens in the future with this appeal, it's all God's will. Abraham Parra's fate was in the hands of a jury made up of nine women and three men. And after just two hours of deliberation, jurors found Parra guilty of capital murder and aggravated kidnapping. Parra shot 22-year-old Reyes Bocanegra once in the back of the head back on July 18, 2012. Authorities say the execution-style killing was due to a drug deal gone wrong. Defense attorney Nat Perez was baffled at the outcome of the trial. There's no evidence as to who is in what vehicle. There's no evidence as to what firearm was used. There's not, no evidence as to who did the shooting. Uh, there was no evidence where the shooting occurred. I mean, uh, there really is no evidence whatsoever. District Attorney Luis Sainz says Parra and the eight other suspects involved in the case who have yet to stand trial first crossed the line when they entered a restaurant full of innocent bystanders to kidnap Boca Negra. He says a hardened criminal is is now off the streets. The stoic reaction goes along with the heinous part of the crime. I mean, you know, when you go into an establishment and disregard totally the life of innocent people to carry out your, vent your vendetta, that's the hardened criminal that he is, and that's what he showed here today. But it was no easy win for prosecutor Gustavo Garza. Wednesday, one of the state's key witnesses, a teenager also involved in the crime, backtracked from his agreement with the state while on the stand and refused to answer questions. He says the teen has many of the answers that have yet to be stated in open court. You could see that I was uh, surprised and, and, you know, taken aback. But thank God, you know, we recouped, we recovered, uh, called other witnesses, you know, got circled my wagons and uh, you know went forward got the job done Defense attorney Nat Perez has filed an appeal already for Parra. However, he asked the court to assign an attorney who specializes in appeals. He adds that the appeals process could take years. In the studio, Daisy Barrera, Action for News.